Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, now I'm at Mount Ida. So this is it's a formation, Canalian member of the Mount Ida formation. So this is also a sandstone. It is a shallow water turbidite. So I can see some basalts. Obviously, there to be imported some rock. Uh, does this allow me to actually swing around? No, it doesn't, so I need to turn the phone off. It's a bad thing about this phone. So, let's have a look at the... Here I have some material, so I'm pretty sure that this is a sandstone. Then you've got some basalt. Brought that in. It's got a lot of vesticular basalt. Uh, obviously they've used it for... They put basalt on the road as well as quartz. So here we have the Canalium, Canella, member of the Mount Ida Formation. Shallow water turbidites, reworked sandstone deposits, fine grain sandstone, siltstone, parallel and convoluted laminations. So that could be soft sedimentation movement. So uh, ripple drift, swaley cross laminations, intensely burrowed. So you should be able to finds um, uh, the leftovers of what organisms done here common slumps are obviously the materials falling down the actual trench uh, continental slope ball and pillow structures uh, I'm not too sure what the ball and pillow structures are probably something to do with the convoluted bedding lamination and you can find fossils here. So once again you could probably find trilobites Brachiopods, gastropods, they're pretty uh, normal for these type of locations. Uh, but you'll be looking for the scarcer fossils. So, obviously, this has been indurinated with iron. So, a lot of the other minerals have been leached out and the iron's been left. And this one... I can see this looks like a igneous rock. Oh, there's lots of uh, looks like feldspar. Could be white quartz. I'd say it's more likely white quartz than uh, the orphoclase. Anyway, that could be just be a conglomerate or brickier. Just says you can't drive her. So if we look at the actual rock, this looks like you can see the crystals. So this is probably a horn fells uh, being altered by the actual granites that are around the place. So I don't really see any sandstony texture in this actual rock. So Mount Ida sandstone, my grave metamorphism. We see there's no schistosity in it. fresh rock not too sure if that darkness is part of the rock or it's just uh, looks like it might not be 
Okay, here's one that's been broken. It's obviously highly ionized with uh, iron. Anyway, but as you can see, this formation is pretty much exposed. It's highly weathered and fractured. and you're not allowed to go up at uh, any of this stuff but you can have a little look out which is quite nice look at all this sandstone so this is all shallow water turbidites as I said before um, now where would it have come from? Well, we have the Ordovician rock to the west. At the time that this has been deposited, that was already probably a low mountain range. So this material would have come from over towards the west. So the Ordovician rock over there, let's have a look. If I can find the page. So I don't know this off by heart because I, didn't, I know basics. I didn't bother lining it. Okay, Castlemaine Supergroup, Deep Marine Turbidites, Hemipelagic Sediments, Sandstone, Mudstones, Black Shales, Quartz, Conglomerate. So Quartz conglomerate, uh, thick bedded sandstone. So that's a, has sandstones and mudstones. That would indicate the composition of this rock if uh, this rock is made from the Ordovician and Cambrian materials. So here we just have rock that's been eroded and redeposited as another strata. Maybe the shelly fossils have been eroded out because it's a limestone. It looks like we have a quartz of feldspar, probably quartz. This has a little bit of a shirty texture to it. It doesn't really feel sandstone. Like I do see small crystals. So I don't think this has been extensively studied, but I just need to read up on it. Find out what material this is. Obviously you're not going to find anything out on the pretty weathered material. This seems to be less weathered. This was all excavated when they actually built the towers. So that's a phone tower. Uh, got a satellite tower. It's all self-maintained. But if you 
you're interested in forest, the trees are quite small here because the soil is pretty poor. Obviously there isn't much soil and most of it gets eroded away. And the nutrients are probably leached out, so it's probably a nutrient poor as well. Any time he gets nutrients is when his uh, material is weathered. But this material is probably also poor in nutrients. interested in botany you'll be interested to see. You got weeds here. Serrated tussock grass. Huh? This, this, this to me just feels like a, it's been metamorphosed. So, looks like a, a type of quartzite. That's what I'm getting from this actual rock. I would say shirty, but it's too it's too crystalline for it to be a, a type of shirt. And then we have these vesicles in the material. That could have been just dissolution. They're pretty rectangular. Uh, so these could be the burrows. I'm not too sure. Because yeah, they don't look pretty burrowy. And they're not in all the actual materials. So here we have very few. Also it looks a bit crystalline or quartz. Quartzite. And once again, it's just all pretty much the same material. So I'll read up this when I get home and I'll find out what it is. And yeah, that's cement. But if you go off the track, this has all been weathered, it gets a bit hard. But based on the shape, it looks pretty much the same as the fresh material. Okay, so this is Mount Ida. So let's have a look at the smaller fragments. Okay, so this is cement. Yeah, also made up of the actual sandstone, quartz, quartzite, whatever it is. So this one looks like it has quartz in it. Yeah, so this is an enigma. So I will come back here with a better explanation of what this material is. Large boulders that you can see at the top. So this is all massive bedded. You can see any laminations in it at all. So what I see is this side has the vesicles. So this could be the erosion surface, and this would have been embedded in the ground. So here 
here we have the surface that has lots of quartz. So, this is all rounded, so this is probably river quartz. And you can see that here we have the pretty much the looks like shirty quartz side ish material. Goes into like a vesticular, probably like a conglomerate. So, what do we have? What do I write down? So, Mount Ida, shallow. Turbidites, rework sandstone deposit, fine grain sandstone, siltstone, parallel and convoluted laminations, potentially borrowed, common slumps, ball and pillow structures. So they might be the ball and pillow structures they're talking about. So right, that, that, that's what I need to look up. Anyway, so that's the actual tower for telephone communication. This one, probably radio. High voltage, don't go in there. Obviously it's a generator. Pretty big generator, probably refill it every few days. And here, what a Victoria Garden Estate. It's an old trailer. Telecom, definitely old. The tires are flat. That hasn't been moved in probably 20, 30 years. Anyway, so I'm nearly out of storage. Thank you for coming to Mount Ida. It is such a wonderful place near heat. Good. Now you should come to this town. There's actually quite a few nice restaurants in here. And you can see the beautiful scenery behind me. And say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you. You want to become a black alien? You want to look like alien. That? Huh? We, have, we have no idea what aliens look like. up there even better have a nice day